Hey guys, have you ever seen God? Cause I sure as hell wish I didn't. Motherfuckers blue with the Tommy gun, what the fuck? Hey guys, and welcome to my latest Let's Play video. Did you ever dig through the trash and a uh, single piece of garbage looked specifically bad? It's like, yeah, the used baby diaper is pretty nasty. And the nail clippings floating in someone's sick are also pretty bad, but this one piece really grabs your attention, really gets you thinking, you know? How did this happen? Why? That specific piece of garbage turned out to be the God's Chain. Don't get me wrong, Steam did license a bunch of... Not just unfinished, but strange games. But yo, this shit whack. Finally, the day came when we found our God. Human beings are an experiment done by them. The human beings are evolving, and have become one of the greatest powers in the universe, which is becoming a great problem for other colonies in the universe. So our god decides to end the... Wait, what? Did it just end there? Oh no, there's more. Okay. So our god decides to end the experiment, but now human beings will fight for their existence. Will human beings exist in this space war, or will become a part of history? Question mark. Will our god destroy us, or will human beings will destroy other colonies? Perfect English. What will be the future of human beings? Man, if this is the games we're making, we're doomed. Then, rightfully so. Wait, this has multiplayer, online multiplayer, co-op, online co-op, and freaking cross-platform multiplayer? What is this available on? Yeah, and it has team trading cards. That's nice. Apparently, the multiplayer has multiple mods as well. I don't know what's up with that. Wait, what do the reviews say about this game? It did say nine reviews. Should I be scared? More red than in communist China. Great. Ah, what is with these pussy settings? Let me put this up some proper. There we go. Fantastic. That's what I... Oh, 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 fuck. God. Did it crash? What's happening? And it just stops. It just fucking stops. Planet Zoro, Sector 7, great. <coughs> fucking hell. Wow. The day came. Oh. When we found our god. Our god? Grass. Aw, oh, hell yeah, sick graphics for 2016. Hell yeah. I swear, this is the slowest spaceship in history. Oh? Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Wait, are they just playing the full-length trailer? This is just the trailer. I'm gonna skip this. Coming 2016. The gods. <laughs> what is that? What is happening in this picture? Like, there's some weird-ass blue alien over there holding a FAMAS? What is that? It says Xbox, Linux, PC, DVD, ROM, Apple, and freaking grass? Grass! Okay, at least I'm at the menu screen. Now. Let me check the settings first. Okay, display. Uh, oh, what? I said this. Okay, let's go. Fantastic. There we go. Okay, let's check the story mode out. Um, oh, that's laggy. Oh, no. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, oh, pressing escape just unlocks your mouse. Well, that's cool. That's great. So basically, if you messed your settings up, you can't change them in-game. Nor can you quit, apparently. Okay, sure. What is that? What is happening here? Let, let me try to... Okay. Oh, God. The frames. The frames. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, better frames now. Great. And there's a shortcut to the abyss, apparently. Oh! Wait, what? No way. For frick's sake, why can you jump through the ceiling in the level 1 area? It's it's basic. They could have made it so that the ceiling is non-clippable. 
Is it really that hard? Oh well. Guess I'm gonna have to push on. Oh, what is this? 60% full? Yeah, 60% full of shit. Okay, this game has to have some kind of objective, right? Okay, here we go, a container. Does it have a gun? Wait. I can't even open it. Oh, this seems important. I might want to go up. Wait. No. Did I just clip through the ceiling again? Wait a minute. Oh god, I did. Oh my god. Is the whole ceiling clippable? Is it really so hard to make a ceiling that you can't- Oh gee- Whoa! Whoa! Frames! Oh god, this game looks... Oddly familiar in all settings. I don't know. Kinda reminds me of something. Not sure what though. Huh. Eh, guess we'll never know. Okay, so I finally go upstairs to find... Hello, Roger. I have been waiting for you since a long time. Whoa. I hope that you are totally fit and fine now. Whoa. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Now listen, soldier. I'm listening. The prophecy. It is from the natural satellite of the X planet, the Earth's moon. We'll have to find it out. We have to find. Okay, soldier, get ready for a mission. I am gonna get ready for a mission. Hell yeah. Still ready for a mission. Oh! Oh? Oh? Cut the roots. You need to destroy all their server stations to break their communications. Who's? Be aware of their security cams and security turrets? Oh no! Uh, yes. Ah. Yes. Let me just land in my huge flying carrot. Where's the sound? It suddenly went mute. Oh, what, what, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh! What? Whoa, 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 stop! Stop! What's happening? Don't blow! I'm kinda used to it now. But what's happening? Oh no. Oh my god. They can't quit! This motherfucker just keeps shooting my dead carcass! Stop! 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 Don't get fooled by me being here already. The game has no saves and no checkpoints. And no way for you to actually pause the game or quit the game. You have to Alt F4 every time. I replayed the entire thing just to get back here, to fly in in my red freaking carrot ship, and to probably get shoot up by Mafia. Oh, shh! Ah! And I died again. Well, oh, I respawn. The respawns. My gun isn't shooting anymore. <sighs> well, you know what they say: you win some, you lose some. You sometimes suddenly respawn without pressing any keys, but then your gun stops working completely. You know, shit happens. I have been walking for eons. The map is empty. There is nothing in this planet, I guess. Ow. Jumping hurts you. Of course it does. Okay, I've had enough. Let me die. No. You can take damage, but you can't die from jumping? Fuck you, game. Now I have to walk back all the way to those aliens. <laughs> I just wanna die! Freaking epic music playing two steps from hell or some shit, I don't know. Kill me, game! Kill me! I mean, you did it so well the first time. You killed me the moment I opened my eyes. Why can't you just now let me die? Oh, God. I'm finally here. Oh, my God. Okay. Come on, alien. Capone, Capone my ass. Go for it. What? Oh, for crying out loud, their guns aren't working as well. What is a man supposed to do around here to commit suicide? Why is it so hard? But wait... If they can't shoot me... 
and I can shoot them. I win! I did it! I saved mankind from God! I won the game! This is the point! You're supposed to do this! You're supposed to fuck up the game so bad that you can't even play it, because then you won! I am unstoppable, run bastard! You cannot defeat me! Okay, one last try to try to let this game redeem itself. Uh, is this where the ceiling clips? Yep. Oh! Whoa! Wait a minute. Please, please, please! Oh my god, I did it. Oh god! <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, was that built in? <laughs> I am going to choose to believe that that was purposely built in so that you could escape the game. The developers were testing the game and they realized they needed a way to escape from it. And here you can see the entire freaking level, level. of course you can. Of course you can. And you can clip through through trees, because why couldn't you? How, how big is the map anyway? Wait. Oh boy. Oh boy. What do modern games teach us? What do they tell us? What is the lesson we can take out of them? Mostly, they tell us never to give up. Never to give in. To brave the odds. Not the God's Chain. The God's Chain is different. Darker. It makes you jump and say, Goodbye world. It makes you brave the abyss, but not to win but exactly to give up. Makes you want death, but it never gives it to you. Alien Capone just keeps shooting your carcass while you're still alive, and nothing ever ends. Eh, solid 7 out of 10, I don't know.